pleasure to meet you. No, this is not the first time we've met, is it? My name is Olaf. I am one of the woodland men born from the void of the Elder Tree. Lord Hermamora has gifted me with personality and allowed me to call myself a Demiprince. You should be honored to have an audience with me. Observing and guiding your fate, that was one of the tasks I was given. It all began long before you were born. And you have created a great amount of new knowledge. My lord will be pleased. No seal is perfect. Water is memory, and ice is therefore like a library to us residents of Apocrypha. When we walk through words, our minds can escape the seals. However, I could not escape fully. But if you are here, then it seems my offshoots have done their work well. Oh, unfortunately. All I can do is observe the tides of fate and plan accordingly. But that alone would have been enough of a threat to you already. Such is the nature of mortals. Yes, Lord Hermamora ordered me to hide the name of a certain dragon. A name you are to inherit. A name that should be forgotten by history, lest you yourself get forgotten along with it. And yet, you still seek it. I have been protecting you from oblivion all along. You too must be terrified of being forgotten. Now, bow to give your all to Lord Hermamora, and I shall teach you not the name of the dragon, but of your true significance. No matter how much power you gain, you are nothing but a beast. Then be forgotten along with this name, Ismalathax, Northerly Dragon. Let this name curse you, Ismalathax. No one ever understand you again. Nustwani Quilan, then Kostuan. Dovakin, in Kafen Kostbona. Ah, are you out of your mind? You'd free me just like that. It's not like you don't know what my offshoots did to you. I, I don't understand what you're thinking at all. But yes, I would love to be free if that's what you desired. Ismailanax. The name is Grummer shed along with his scales. This is your dragon name. The name that was once inherited by a young man called Mirak and meant to be kept safe with him. Eventually, you will suffer the same fate as he did. You have made a very foolish choice. You will come to regret it. I've been waiting for you, Ismir, king of dragons and men. You've been born of this cave and have returned to it at last. Today you've regained the scales of a small attack that became the dragon in truth. Do what your heart tells you to. Let it take shape in this cave. O oh, king without a throne on earth, please have mercy on the shadows of this world. O oh, 
Only the prisoner who has seen the world from the outside can know its true form. Only you can do this. Imitate Shore. Do you truly intend to go on suffering in this world like Shore? There are limits to everything, Isleer. Who will reward you for your devotion? No one will. You're such a fool. If you truly believed in people, you'd have realized that. It's reckless for a mortal to bear the suffering of a god. Did I not warn you at the very beginning? You are a fool to choose a fate as doomed as that of Shores, and like a fool, you love the people too much. There is no guarantee that anyone will ever be worthy of your devotion, but you believe, don't you? I hate to say this, but if you believe, then so will I. This is as far as I go with you. But let me at least congratulate you on your barren journey. It will last forever. Or everyone will forget you. Truly, you are a king among kings. something small, yet great at the same time. Nothing's changed. Close in the shadows will come up your shores wide. Nothing will change as long as time continues to flow. But there, at the end of time, someone will inherit your greatness. This will be a beacon to them. You've lit a fire in the burner that this year showed us and slot. Does the new world truly need us? We are fated to be forgotten. But what we leave behind will remain only in a different form. Peace, dear, I am proud to have served as your clever man. However brief, I wish you well. something small, yet great at the same time. Nothing's changed. Close in the shadows all cannot be short while. Nothing will change as long as time continues to flow. But there, at the end of time, someone will inherit your greatness. This will be a beacon to them. You've lit a fire of eternity that this year showed us and slot. Everything has an end. Perhaps all doing will devour the world, or perhaps it will be you, or perhaps the medium will stomp over everything. However, then, your legacy will live on and guide people. You have truly become the king. Peace, dear, I am proud to have served as your clever man. However, brief, I wish you well. I never knew while I was trapped under that ice. 
I just told myself that the sacrifice of the Hedra was meaningless. You are a cruel person. There is no punishment more terrible than this. They're no longer under my control. I'm trying to make the plans go on without me. But they will fail. My lord gave me a personality of my own, but in the end, I too was nothing more than a puppet. Eventually, my offshoots will realize this too. Scremor's warriors hunted down most of my brothers. If any of them remain, there aren't that many. Some haven't even sprouted yet. This is good news for you, isn't it? You won't have any issues with them for long. Yes, I planned to do that at first. I'm done. Now that I've seen this world again, I've given up. The more I think about it, the more I feel I could have been a part of this world if only my lord Hermamur had participated in its creation. Boggles my mind. There is a story I've been ordered to keep secret. But instead, I'll entrust it to you. It's my own little rebellion. you like the story, Smear? You must be a fool. You can't ascend into the sky until you understand it. The stars may become forgotten, but they shine no less bright for it. In time, your ladder will hang at the sky's rim. Enviable view. It makes me disgusted with myself. <laughs> 